Good morning. It is Friday morning. They're calling for anywhere from, it seems like 1 to 12, <laughs> but I'm guessing it'll be somewhere around 3 to 6 inches. So we're going to go ahead and get the plows hooked up. This is the last one I got to do, and then load up with salt before it starts doing anything. It's not supposed to start till closer to 3 or 4 o'clock this afternoon, and then finish up by between 11 and 3 a.m. So it'll be a busy day. We'll probably have to try and make our way through twice through the route. So we'll go ahead and see what happens this time. All right, so plow's hooked up. Now I'm coming back to the other truck. Grab it, and then we'll load both of them up with salt. And then it's kind of a waiting game to see what happens, but at least we won't have to be out in the crappy weather loading salt, getting it all wet. So we got both salters loaded up and made sure both of them worked. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out of the way. Our driver is gonna come pick it up in the next couple hours. And we normally have him just keep it at his house so that once we're ready to go, we're all just hitting the road instead of coming here. And then I park mine in the barn so that I can keep it out of the weather since we have the availability over there. But this is this is the prep today. Didn't have to prep the machines at all because last time I prepped them, we didn't end up using them. So this time, just have to get the trucks ready. They're already fueled up, clean. Snow blowers in the truck. And uh, Now it's just the waiting game. Probably give it about an hour of snowing before we'll start pushing if it comes the way they're saying. All right, so I went ahead and greased the salter and greased the two joints on the back of the bed. So now this can sit in here out of the weather until I need to use it. We'll see what happens. And hopefully I can get a good plowing video out of this one. All right, it's about 7.30. Probably have a good three inches so far. Right now it's a lightning storm. The sky just flashed really bright a couple times and there's some thunder, so. We're gonna go ahead and get after it and try and keep ahead of it. All right, <clears throat> we're at the first place, opening it up. It's pretty rough to be honest. 
It's probably a good four inches, I'd say. It's about 8.30 now. I've been making my laps already around here, but it's pushing the truck around a lot, and I have a F550. So that goes to show how heavy it is. Can't even lift the plow with the snow in front of it. This place is still open, even though it's Friday at 8.30. They have, I think, three uh, shifts here. So I'm trying to open it up before they switch shifts so that people can get out of the parking lot because it's really bad out right now. But they also have stuff blocking everywhere that you can put snow. So it's making things pretty difficult. I do have the skid steer here, but the tracks do awful in this wet, heavy snow like this. So I'm thinking I'll open it up with the truck and then when I come back later, I might end up using the bucket to clean up where I have to. But it's snowing real, I can't even turn right now. I don't know if you can see it, I'm literally going. It's super heavy. Not making it easy on me this time. Look at the size of those chunks coming off the plow. Wow.
are still pretty terrible as you can see. Uh, I just finished going through my route for the first time. So the other two drivers are also just finishing for the first time going back through again. So now I get to start my route again. I'm hoping the second half of what I did is still good and I can just go through and touch things up but I know the first couple places I didn't even do the whole thing so it's going to take a little while. Probably have six or so inches of really 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 heavy snow so it's just taking a while and try not to kill the truck or anything like that. So that's the 4 a.m. update.
9.30 Saturday morning. Been at it for about 14 hours now. Everything's pretty much wrapped up. Just have two residentials left and some city sidewalks that uh, the other driver, he doesn't have a snowblower on his truck. And with how heavy the snow was, I told him just to leave those and I would come by after my route. So I just have two more places to check on and then uh, get some snow blowing done and then hopefully I'll be done by noon and get some rest see what happens next weekend it looks like there's a chance so we'll see what's up okay 12 30 on saturday and it's 40 degrees and everything's melting <laughs> but everything's done and now we can let things melt and see what happens next but that's a wrap for this one didn't have too many things break I think the plow fluid is low on the other plow, the wide out, and then I broke one of my wheel wells off on the dump bed, like underneath the dump bed, but that's pretty common. It's happened a couple times a year because we add extra mud flaps and then they get stuck in the heavy thick snow and then you run them over, so no big deal, it's just the brackets, so I can't really complain with how heavy that was. That was a truck killer for sure. But that's a wrap.